Hi everyone! Today I want to show you a very nice tip on how quickly we can create a Mart from scratch using dbt power user extension. So to start I actually have almost nothing in my project. I just create two sources YAML files and the structure of staging and marts. I can start with creating my staging layer for Postgres and with that I only need to open my sources YAML file, list the table that I have in my source and as you can see I already have a button here, generate model. By clicking this button the extension gives it to me a staging layer model based on the columns that I have. I can run this model using the extension and this will create for me this view in my database. This is for Postgres, I already have a source Salesforce in here and the same thing, I only have sources list, the table that I have in Salesforce, clicking generate model, I have different columns in here and already listed to me the different columns. And again, I need to run it so I can have this view in my database. In order to create a Marts, I can simply create a new file and my Marts will be called users.sql. And I just want to join these two tables for me, the Salesforce user table and the Postgres user table. So as I start writing, the extension also helps me in giving the files that I have in my project. So I don't need to look at for the naming specific, I just click in, I can click in here. And this is my basis for model. You can I can do the same thing for Postgres and quickly have already this referencing done for me. So when I do it, reference, as you can see, give it to me the Postgres one, which is this one. As my marts will be just the join of these two tables, I can just do select all from Salesforce user, left join, Postgres user, and using the keys which I know our user ID and email. I can use the extension to quickly see the preview of this query to see if everything is correct. And yes, it is everything what I expected to be. Again, I can run this query using dbt run. So I can have this as a table in my, in my database. And because this is a Marts, this is user facing, right? So this is normally for business user or for internal users. So I do need to add documentation for it. Again, the extension gives me a window called documentation editor, which uses AI to generate a documentation for me. And normally, if you want to have, for example, a model contract, I can also sync the columns that I have with the database and this lists for me the columns and the data types of the columns. This is brand new project so I don't even have a file so I just need to create a new file, save the documentation and name it. So underscore models, underscore, underscore, marts, YAML file. So this will be the name of my documentation and I can save it. This creates for me a model Marts YAML file with the documentation and all of the columns of my model. And that's actually what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you.